we got a call just before the convention, and it, it was interesting because we're all sort of going, what do we want to do, you know? I mean, in one way, if you go protest, it just gives more. And, and this is not against the Republicans or the Democrats. We would have done it to the Democrats. Yeah, whoever, too, it know? just happened so, that they were in Philly. But, uh, and you're going, it, it sort of legitimizes it to be in these protests that are so polarized, you know, Bush haters or whoever, you know, and it's just like a really ugly atmosphere. So we decided, um, one of the things we did was we, one of the communities went out dressed in fruits of the spirit and just uh, walking around in sackcloth with, you know, gentleness and patience. But then right before the convention, before uh, Bush was being nominated at the time, uh, they, we got a call from uh, someone that will remain anonymous, but uh, they, they said, we've got two passes for you. We want to give them to you. Uh, and we're thinking, all right. And there were VIP passes, right? So we, uh, we, we jumped, it's only about an hour uh, from the convention, the time it's starting. So we just head on down. We got dressed up in nice suits so we would fit in, you know, I just shed all of this stuff. I had to, you know, Sure. When in Rome. Uh, so, uh, but underneath, I had written on my shirt uh, the words of the prophet Isaiah, woe to those who pass unjust laws and uh, deprive the poor of their rights and withhold justice. And on the back, uh, it said, woe to those who are rich, but are blessed are the poor. So I'd written all that, and then I put my suit on top of it. And we went to the convention, and honestly, they gave us a golf cart escort right in they met us at the gate and they took us in and we're just looking at each other it's me and my buddy jamie so we we drive in and they walk us through all this uh, security and and we get uh into the main arena there just as bush is being uh nominated and uh, i think it was ridge tom ridge that gave him the the recommendation and so um he gets up to speak and then um, something just came over me, you know, I had been thinking of it. I stood up and I start saying those verses and I took my shirt and jacket off, you know, so that everyone could see that. And all the security around is basically like, <laughs> they're party like volunteers, you know, so they, they're, they're like, I don't know what to do. So I just keep saying the scripture, you know, and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm saying blessed are the poor, you know, and the, there's a there's this moment where everybody around me just starts clapping because they want to drown it out and it, he stood up at the podium at this point so everyone's clapping and it's almost like they're clapping for Isaiah you know <laughs> and then it dies down and I just keep saying scripture you know so if you actually if you watch the address people clap like three times before he begins speaking you know and uh, so then by that time I was pounced by security so, you know the the secret service so. and yeah it took about a, two minutes and so then they put me in this little janitor's closet right and I can hear them talking outside they're like what is he doing they're like well he's saying scripture <laughs> you know? and, and they come in and uh, they they had said we, should we if we can get him for protesting we can hold him in jail with all the other protesters out in the street you know and uh, they come in they like are you a protester and I didn't have to think long <laughs> to know the answer to that and so I said uh, no I, I uh, was just here with a m message to deliver and they're like well are you a protester I said no it was a prophetic message you know and I wouldn't usually claim to be a prophet but at that moment I knew I wasn't a protester so <laughs> you know what are the options and uh, so they um they said well if you will not come back, we'll, we'll just, uh, we'll, we'll let you go. And I said, oh, I'm done. I gave my message, you know, and they gave me, put me back in the golf cart, <laughs> took me all the way back. I was thinking about the time when you and your friends got arrested on the streets and you were taken to court with these shirts, uh, Jesus was homeless. That was, yeah, that was a different time. Why so, don't you tell us about well, that? Well, I mean, part, part of the, so what we did in Philly was we, we began to see that there were a lot of laws that were being passed that were, um, didn't reflect the things that we believe as Christians and uh, some of those were that it was illegal to sleep in the park, illegal to uh, lie down on the sidewalk. One of the final laws that was passed was a law that made it illegal to distribute food in Love Park in Philly. And it's very interesting because they, the, the, the specific ordinance was that you could not distribute food to the homeless. and. Uh, this was an area where, as Eastern students, we started going down and feeding homeless folks. We've been doing it for years and years. And we said, uh, what do we do? And we read in the book of Luke where it tells about how Jesus tells us to throw a party. 
and it says when you give a bar party, don't invite the your 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 friends or relatives or neighbors. You know, invite the poor and the and the crippled, the lame, the blind, and uh, and and, and so this, we, this is a park across from City Hall called Love, Love Park. Park. L O V E. So so when 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 this happened, we covered up the love. The big love sign, the famous love sign, we covered it up with a big question mark, and it said, where is the love? So we did these, these uh, celebrations, and, and our idea was let's celebrate something that exposes the scandal of these laws. So we began by bringing drums and guitars, and we'd have worship services, and then we'd serve communion, which was sort of push, pushing the envelope a little bit, you know. Uh, and we would distribute the, the, the food and, and juice and all the police were sort of looking in. They're like, well, I'm not going to arrest them. You know, I'm going to have communion with them. You know, and so we, we would continue the breaking of the bread then by bringing in pizzas. And we, we had pizzas and we would sleep out in the park. And we did that for night after night for a few months. And uh, one night when there was uh, n no real media or anything like that, and it was just a few homeless folks and a bunch of us, and we, we ended up, uh, the police were, ordered to arrest everybody there and so they surrounded the park came in they arrested all of us and we were charged we were given a citation for food distribution and we were taken to jail for disorderly conduct so we fought that through the court and we decided to be represented by one of our homeless friends Alfonso Fonz you know and Fonz uh, agrees to speak for us in court and uh, he stands up and just goes your honor we think these laws are evil and wrong. <laughs> and he sits down. And uh, I had a shirt on that said, Jesus was homeless. And the judge says, come here. Jesus was homeless. Huh? I didn't know that. And I said, yes, your honor, in the scripture, Jesus says that foxes have holes to go into, birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man has no place to lay his head. And then the judge said, you guys might stand a chance. And we did, as we fought it through the court. The DA, the district attorney, she was throwing the book at us. You know, she wanted us to have jail time for this. She wanted us to have uh, thousands of dollars worth of fines and hours and hours of community service. And uh, so we, we, um, we ended up just going through the court. And the judge, the judge ended up saying, he said, these guys are not criminals. He said, uh, what's in question is not whether or not they broke the law. It's clear to me that they broke the law, but what's in question is the constitutionality of the laws that we're passing. And the district attorney said, oh, that, that's not before this court. And he said, that question is before every court in the country. If it weren't for people who broke the unjust laws, we wouldn't have the freedom that we have. That's what this country is built on from the Boston Tea Party to the Civil Rights Movement. He said, these guys are not criminals. They're freedom fighters, and I find them all not guilty on every charge. Whoa. So they dropped all of our charges. Yeah, it was a good you time. Know, uh, 